really freaking cold. Before we get started, a real quick thanks to Ubisoft for inviting me to the Six Invitational in Montreal and for sponsoring this video. I'm in Montreal for the Rainbow Six Invitational 2023. It is the final day of the playoffs. In fact, while I'm filming this right now, Wolves are playing OXG and I'm on my way over to meet up with the rest of the group because we're going to go over to Ubisoft's studio here and talk with some of the devs. They have some stuff planned for us that I'm excited to see kind of more, you know, behind the scenes of Rainbow Six as always. It's actually not that cold, it's not too bad. I got here right after the polar vortex, so I'm glad that it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. We just had a couple presentations by the Ubisoft uh, employees. They're talking about the player onboarding experience, they're talking about combating toxicity, talking about dealing with cheaters, and um, obviously the new operator, which you guys will see pretty soon here. And there's some really cool stuff coming up. I think that they're doing a lot of really interesting things, trying to bring new players into Siege and also like retain you know, the existing players. I think the new operator is going to create a lot of confusion for both old and new players, and I did voice that concern with them, but obviously that's something that they're going to have to test over time. I also brought up to them the fact that it would be really sick if in custom games you could have unlimited gadgets, like unlimited grenades, so that you could practice, you know, throwing grenades and like developing strategies and that kind of thing, which is something that I help Fromage with all the time, but it's really difficult because you only get two grenades, so you only get two attempts to try and like do something. It's just really cool that they brought us all out here to do this kind of like feedback session where we were able to like talk directly with them and ask them questions and get feedback from them directly even if they can't you know they can't give us a lot of uh, information right now but hopefully it's like they hear us and then they can action on what we're saying so tonight we're doing some laser tag and I think we have a group that's planning on doing some karaoke after that so that was the plan but unfortunately I ended up having so much anxiety about Fromage's team playing on the main stage that I just ended up staying in I will probably head back to the hotel and just kind of relax for a little while, try and get some work done, get myself organized, and tomorrow is the first day of the tournament, so I'm really nervous about that. Wolves are playing G2. I'm very anxious about the rematch. I'm hoping that Fromage's team does well, but it is definitely very anxiety-inducing, so fingers crossed. Even if Lori doesn't win the big hammer, she'll get a small hammer. Should I get one for myself? That's the, the next question. No, just one for Lori. She worked for it. She worked hard for it. the media room the opening ceremony starts in about 15 minutes so we're gonna go find seats and then the match starts right after that so my anxiety is, is slowly creeping up it's not good Friendship moved to a 
different location. No! Time to have a talk. It's time to see if they can try and piece this together. As we said, this is Fabian's moment as well. And, you know, what he's seen these past couple of rounds, he's obviously much happier with. He couldn't have been sadder with what he saw. Well, unfortunately, that is it for Lori and the Wolves. I'm really sad. They played really well. Man, that first map was spectacular. That was really awesome. They were super hyped. They were playing super well. The second map, they started off super strong, and then it started to kind of fall apart. And then the third map was like... I was I was really worried. They started to win a couple rounds here and there, but they really needed to win some of those um, some of those attacks. What sucks is that now they have a signing session, like right after their they just got eliminated, and now it's like meet some fans, sign some signatures, take some pictures. It's like they're all sad. Um, so I'm probably gonna go over there and see if I can see Lori for a little bit before she. Um, has to deal with all of that. That is the most stressed that I have ever been watching Rainbow Six. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I know we've got, I think Astralis uh, versus Koi is coming up next. But yeah, I'm sad for Wolves. Hopefully the rest of the weekend is still, still fun. So over the weekend, Ubisoft revealed a lot of new content and updates for year eight of Rainbow Six Siege. There's honestly a lot of really awesome stuff to look forward to, and uh, both for new and old players. Obviously, the big thing is the new attacking operator, Brava, who's from Brazil. She brings a new drone into the game. Um, her clutch drone can hack and repurpose gadgets to basically the advantage of her own team. So, for example, she can hack a cap can trap, and when a defender runs through it, it'll explode. So she, like, basically pulls the reverse Uno card. There are also a ton of gameplay updates, like Mousetrap, which is basically to help counter people using mouse and keyboard on console, which is kind of a form of, of cheating, right? It's like input cheating. They're adding more anti-toxicity measures, they're adding balancing updates to other operators, such as Zero and Frost, and they're adding a lot of new onboarding features to help new players get into Rainbow Six. They're adding things like special challenge modes where you can learn and unlock operators as well as making updates to the shooting range. So overall, a lot of very cool and much needed updates to Siege. Um, I'm excited to see all of this. I'm hopeful that the onboarding stuff especially will aid new players because that's always been the biggest hurdle in getting people to play Siege. You know, there's a ton of operators, there's a lot to learn. They keep adding no, new operators and learning the specific interactions between all of the different operator gadgets is really difficult. So I'm, I'm hopeful that all the stuff they're adding will be really helpful for that reason. I had a really great time at SI 2023. It's really good to be back at per in person at an in-person event for R6 Esports. It really made me miss it. I'm super excited to go home and play some Siege now, which I haven't been doing very much of, but this has made me like super excited about it. And it was really nice to see all the content creators again, all the devs and all the players. And I'm really stoked for G2 that they pulled out the victory. 
Next year is going to be in Brazil, so I'm not super sure that I'm going to end up going because it's pretty far and I can't be away from home for that long, but maybe the U.S. major, we'll see where that one's going to be. But I am really excited about R6 Esports again, so thanks to Ubisoft for bringing me out. Thanks again to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. The new content for this season is live on the PC test server, and the live release will be on March 7th. 